Welcome to the channel, folks. We're going to kick off with a little charity shop trip, I think. So let's just jump in the car, head straight there, and go and see what we can find. Quick pit stop in St. Michael's. Good morning, Ricky. All right, Cherub. How, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, That's not pretty, bad. isn't it, eh? Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Ooh, um, 10 squitter. Probably about um, 25. Looks 12 and a half. There might be a pickup. This is very nice. I like it. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Grandiose. You know, sure you Just gone to preschool. Oh. <laughs> She'll be going to, she's having a settling in day again today at, at the big school. I've got a friend that works in one of the... See these at 12 and a half, even though it's probably a double up, so after fees and stuff, it's going to be a quick tenner. They won't last very long. So I might go for that. Oh no, there's blood in the back. No, no. no. We don't mess with blood. Did find this though, which is quite cool. This is pretty nice. Made in France. Has like, maybe it's a it's of a pewter or could be silver, but I don't know. 375. Seen one sold for like 18. I've had to come back out and get a bag. I assume this is half price because it's got a cross on it, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And yeah. then it'll be, it should be when further I, reduced. When, as well. I, when I go into lockdown. Yeah, I did see that, but the thing is. Yeah, there's three cats, uh, feathers in the mouth, and feathers all over my driveway. I wonder what's happened here. Come on, out of the way. Come on. <laughs> there has been a massacre out here. Who got it? Who got it? Which one of you was it? Was it you? Was it you? Where's the bird? Max Payne. Max Payne, was it you? Was it you? Look at me. I think it was you, weren't it? <laughs> Did you eat the bird? Where is it? That's all covered in blood. There's blood everywhere. How have I just come home and Pidgeot's been spread across my driveway and you've got three cats fighting over it? <laughs> I wonder which one was guilty. I don't even own a cat. Let's just take a look at what we picked up before it turns into carnage out there. And then I'll be forced to step in. Picked up a lot of plush today, mainly because for some reason it was 50 pence each today. Normally these are two quid this size. So I just picked them all up. They're only about a tenner each. I think it's like 8.99 to a tenner, 8.99 to a tenner. Again, 50p. See this one, the bigger one, normally got three fifty four quid pound but it's got somebody's name on it gracie 2019 again no more than eight or nine quid again for peter pan oh he's a pound as well timon 50p and rapunzel's lizardy thing whatever you want to call it 50p this is a weird one i've seen listings for like up to 47 quid or dollars whatever it was but sold to like eight or nine and there's nothing listed at the moment it's a weird one i'm not too sure maybe it's just going to be an eight or nine quid one Maybe it could be a 30 quid one. Bad purchase. This one's been around for a while. Eight pound in the charity shop, reduced to four quid today. The yellow sticker normally means it's going to be reduced further. I didn't realise that actually it's only reduced on things that were originally five pound or under, which will reduce further. So I ended up paying the four pound for it. Sells for about nine or 10 quid. Some seat belt pads because Ada has now moved into the bigger seat with the strap and she keeps complaining about it hurting her. So I've got some pads basically. Some army issue combat trousers. These were three pound. Three pounds. Really nice moisture wicking and waterproof. So I've got some good ones there. Estimation is about 20 quid on those. Up to 20 pound. And this 
which I'm going to keep for myself for a while if I like it. The colour's a little bit funky, but I've never heard of this before. You football lot would have done. Maba. So when I've done some research into it, they actually do a lot of like football collaborations. I don't know if, I don't know if they're actual, like, I don't know if they're similar to like Umbro or Puma or whatever. I don't know if they're actually a brand or they're just like Palace, for example, that kick themselves onto football kit and stuff. But it's got number 10 on the back. Just a nice little tie-dye print with a nice logo here. Size extra large. Looks very much like the Mayer logo. That's what drew me in. But it was only £2, you see. And I've seen comps of like 30, 40, 50, 20, 15 for different types and styles, of course. Haven't found this one yet. But I assumed for £2, I wasn't going to lose money, was I? And also, I quite like the style. I'm hoping I can get on with the colour. And we picked this up as well. It's by Pakeman Cato and Carter, which some of their stuff sells for quite strong money. It's like a tie rack or a belt rack type of thing. It was £1.25. Now, I don't know what this is going to be worth. My estimation is 15 I'm obviously hoping it's going to be 80 or 90 I'm obviously hoping that. I'm hoping that. But I'm expecting at least 12 to 15 back on that. Being Pakeman, it's a nice little brand. And most of their stuff sells quite well. It's a compact tie hanger, if anybody cares. And some free lollipops, I'm guessing, because it's got a Christian message and they want me to read that. Ada can have the lollies. That's what she said. She said, you've got some knowledge for Ada. Bless her. We've got some sales to go through now. We've had a couple to be fair. So let me pick those and I'll come back to you. Might have a coffee in between as well. I'm actually going to quickly take photos of those before we move on to the sales, just to get them out of the way and in a camera roll. So I'll do that now. Today's box is going to be L. Take the L. There we have it. Job done. What I'm hoping for today is I've got some sales that require lots of cardboard because this is absolutely killing me. Driving me insane. Let's look and pray. Let's look and pray. Well, we've got one thing that kind of qualifies that's going to need a lot of cardboard, so I'm happy with that. Hopefully I can move most of this stuff down there. And that is for £25.19, this Panasonic, I think it's a, what is it? DVD player. DVD player with a hard drive. £25.19, all in. I sent a load of offers out last night, loads. Nike Pro Thermafit. This is the ADV Ladies Cropped Sweat Top. Bargain price now, £17.79. That is an absolute steal. But is it? It's sat around for ages. £13.35 is this Xbox 360 wireless network adapter. Owes me nothing. Oh, I missed that the other day. £16.19 pence is this Bose charger power supply for the Bose docking system. Had to put the Bose docking system in the bin, wasn't working, so I've sold the charger instead. Big shout out now to Robert, aka RL Collect and Sell. Massively appreciate this sale. This is Simba's dad, Mufasa. Sold it for £19.99 plus postage, I think. No, free postage, £19.99 all in. I think this was £4 that I paid. Remember I was telling you, like, when plus I just picked up. That would have been probably 50p today or a pound, whatever. But yeah, I paid £4 for this, sold for £19.99 free postage. So minus the £4, minus the £3, minus a bit of fees. I'll make about a tenner on that. And Robert, I think you're giving this to your little girl, if I remember rightly. You did send me a message. Sorry if I've got that wrong. I'm working off brain memory here. Really do appreciate that, mate. Thank you so much. I'll get him on his way to you shortly. Mufasa. Remember Mufasa's... Never mind. Gino! Gino! Gino. This is what I class as a bad buy. I say bad buy, I've made profit, but it's going to be like two, maybe two to five to post that. Kilos, I mean. Gino Di Campo cast iron oval dish sold for £12.59. I thought, Gino, cast iron, going to be worth a ton. The man doesn't seem to be selling anything, bless his little heart, but he's still a legend in your own right, Gino. I paid two pound, no, £1.50 for that. But like I said, I've still profited, it's just. Yeah. Right, now, over to Vinted. There is none. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly scram some breakfast, which actually consists of a cheese and pickle sandwich, because I didn't have the one that I wanted. A white bueno bar, elite, elite, and a caramel latte. Alexa, what's the time? Good morning, Ricky. The time is 10.19 a.m. I wonder why I'm fat. I've had a few comments saying, oh, we should stop saying that, we should stop saying the A word, because it's setting all mine off. Alexa, subscribe to Ricky Resells. Sorry, I don't know that. I'm getting a Google Nest. Just had a parcel arrive, and I always forget that I've ordered stuff. And this one is a Lego set from John Luke Industries, Stark Industries. 
I don't know. It's got, it's got a figure on it. It's got, it's got wings on it, but John broke it. He had to break it to put it into the box. There you go. It's got wings and stuff on it, a little figure. And also this one. I got it because his name is Gluttonous. I paid like four pound. It's worth like four pound, but it's gluttonous. And I'm a gluttonous swine. I just have bueno. So I paid like nine pound for that one, I think, and something for that. Apparently, I'm going to make profit. I don't know. Who knows? But I will just list it up. It better be complete, or otherwise, I'll be making some complaints. Just joking. Big up, John. Appreciate you, mate. It's a small channel. He does need a little bit of help, so I'm going to give him a little bit of a shout out. Everybody, please go and follow John Luke. He's struggling at the moment, and I've heard. I've heard he can't afford socks at the moment. So go and help him out, he needs help. Love you, son. And we're gonna chop the video there, but don't go anywhere because we are gonna do a giveaway. Today's giveaway is gonna be the Lego Ninjago gluttonous figure that I picked up from John Luke. I invest and distribute. If you want a chance to win this, all you've got to do is comment down below, I think, and then finish off your sentence. You can say whatever you like. I think you stink. I think you're the most magnificent YouTuber on the internet. My chair is spinning and I can't stop it. Entrance down below. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ra. Let's go listen plush. Ow.